In this video, we'll be seeing how to set up a custom domain and SSL for your local host using SAMP. First of all, we have to install and set up SAMP. I am already having SAMP installed on my system. If you don't have, you can come to this URL. I'll give the link for this in the description and you can download SAMP. You can download the latest version and you can do the setup. It is very easy to install and set up SAMP. You can simply download the file and you can click next, next, next and you can install it. After installing SAMP, you can search for Notepad and you can open this as an administrator. So click on run as administrator. You have to click yes and allow this to run as administrator and then we can click file and click on open. You have to open your local disk where your windows is installed. So in my case, it is inside C drive. So go inside windows and scroll down and you can see system 32. Open this one and we can scroll down here and you will see drivers, the folder drivers. Open this one and here you can see etc. Open this one and here you might be having this selected as text here. So you have to select all files and you will see these details. Okay. So simply select host and you can open that file. So you can see this path here. So this is my current path. So come to this path according to our Windows installation. You can open this folder inside the notepad. So now we have opened this file as an administrator inside the notepad. So you can edit this file. Otherwise you won't be able to edit it. So run as administrator and then you can edit it. Now we have to add the domain to this one for the localhost. So you can copy this much from here and uh, let's hit an enter. I'll zoom it a little bit so you can view it properly. And we can paste that here. Okay. And uh, we can change the localhost to some domain of our preference. I have given the domain that is codecc.dev. So we'll be able to access this domain locally on our system. After adding this, you can save this file. Don't forget to save this file and you can close this one. After adding that, you have to go to the place where you have installed SAMP. In our case, we have installed SAMP inside C drive. So go to the SAMP folder and here we can see Apache. So open this one and inside this one, we can see the folder con. So open this one and open the extra folder. Here we can see the file HTTP D V host. So we have to edit this one. So simply open this inside the notepad. Inside the vhost file, we can scroll down, scroll to the bottom and here we have to add a virtual host. So we can add that here. I have added this virtual host here. You can see this. So you can post the video and you can type this one. So you can give the server name and here you can give the domain. So we are choosing the domain that is codecc.dev and here we can give the alias and you can simply give the star here and you can specify the domain here and here you can give the path to the folder which you wish to add the domain to and here you can give the path to which the domain that you are adding should point to so you can add that here and you can give that here as well okay so in our case i have created a folder here in the desktop you can see and if you open this one there is nothing inside it is an empty folder and uh, i have directed this to that folder you can keep this folder anywhere you simply have to give the exact location here and here and here we are granting all the permissions and all so we can add all the files like dot http access and all those things you can do that you have to add this first of all and now our domain will be active so you can save this one and you can go to the samp after saving the vhost uh, we have to stop this one stop the apache and uh, start it again you have to restart Apache and then only it will work. And one more important thing that I have to say is we are using the .dev domain which will redirect to HTTPS and we are not having an SSL right now. We are using this port 80. We will be adding SSL. So right now we don't have the SSL and it will redirect to HTTPS in Chrome. So we will not be able to open this one. So for the testing purpose, I'm going to change this to something other than dev. You can give give anything here. So I am giving dot test here. Okay. And you can save this file. And I am inside the vhost file. Okay. So you can see that name here. So you can see the 
location and path also so you have to make the changes here so you have to add these details so simply change this to something else other than the dot dev now we have to change that in the host file also for that we have to open the notepad again as a administrator simply type notepad and you can run this as an administrator and after opening notepad as administrator you can open the file that is inside this path i have already shown that so i am not going to show that again so you can come inside this path and you can change this text to all files and now we can see this host here and you can select that open and we can change this dev to dot test and save this file so i am not going to close this file because we might need to change it again so i am keeping this open i am simply minimizing this one and i am going to minimize this vhost file as well so you have to change that here and also in the host file that's it now we can restart the apache so simply stop the apache and start it again we can try accessing that url so it was cc.test so i have added the domain here and now we can enter this one and you can see the index so since we are not having anything inside that folder it is showing the index so this one is working right now now we can see how to add the ssl to the domain so you saw that the earlier we are not having the ssl installed so now we will be seeing how to add the ssl to the dot test domain which is not an actual uh, domain extension so we'll be adding that to this local domain so it will not be accessible from the internet only you will be able to see that on your local system so we'll be seeing how to add the ssl so for that you can come to this url i'll give the link for this on the description and you can download this one so simply download this file you will get a folder which has two files you can simply download this file and you can follow along after downloading the file you will get a zip file so inside this zip file we'll be having this folder crt and inside that we'll be having these two files so you have to unzip this zip file and uh, you will get a let's unzip this one extract and you can extract it here itself okay and inside this one we'll be having this folder and you can copy this folder okay let's copy this folder from here simply copy this folder and you can go inside the samb installation and go inside the apache and here you have to paste that folder here i have already pasted that folder you can see that here so this folder won't be available on your samb installation if you haven't done this so let's paste that here and inside that i'm having this two files okay now after pasting that so you can see the path here so you can see the path will be like this okay so add this this folder name is not important you can give any name you have to edit it accordingly that's it so it will be easy for you if you follow along with this video so after that you can open this file inside an editor simply right click and open with notepad and you can see this is what it is inside the file so let's maximize this one hope it is visible you don't have to edit anything other than the domain name so we are having two options for the domain so we have to edit those so you can come to this option here you can see it is inside the curly braces and we can give the domain that we are using currently so i have added the domain here you can copy that from here and add it on the bottom as well so you can see the domain option is available here as well okay so there is two options that you have to change add the domain here and also on the bottom after making these changes you can save the file and uh, you can minimize this one now you can run this file so simply double tap this one and you can see the command prompt has opened let me just zoom this one for you so we have to enter the domain here so the domain was cc.test so you can give that here so give the domain and you can hit enter so you can see a bunch of things here you can simply ignore that okay simply ignore those and uh, now we have to enter the country name so you can either leave it blank that is not important since we are doing this inside the local host or you can give the country accordingly and you can give the name state you can give the locality and also give the company name and here you can keep it to the same and hit enter now you can change the email if you want to add the email and hit enter and that's it so the certificate will be generated on the folder you can simply click enter and this will be closed so now if you go back to the crt folder you can see the path here 
So go back to that folder and you will be seeing a new folder here. And that will be having the domain name. So open that and inside this you will be seeing the certificate. So you have to install this one on your system. So simply double click this one and you can see install certificate. So now we can install this one. So click on install certificate and you can select current user or local machine. I will be selecting the local machine and click on next. When you click next, you will be asked to allow this action. So you can type yes. After clicking yes, you will get this kind of uh, UI. So you have to select place all certificate in a folder and click on browse. And you can select this trusted root certificate and you can select OK. Click on next. And now you can click on finish. Now you can see the installation is completed and it is successfully imported. Click on OK and OK here. That's it. So the certificate is added to your system locally. Now that the certificate is installed, you can open the vhost file. So you can go to Apache and inside the config, you can see extra. And this is the file that we want to edit. So open it inside Notepad. And here you can see we have added this one for the non-HTTPS version. So we have to change this one. So you can simply remove this one and add the thing that I'm going to add afterwards because we'll be changing the port here. So I have replaced that with this one. So you can see the port is different and we are also specifying the SSL. So these details are for the SSL. So the new things that we are added is these three line and also the change of the port. So you can either change those details or you can type it again. So if you need to add the SSL, you can enable this or if you don't need the SSL, you can disable this and use the previous one. You can simply comment this one like this, okay? So you can comment it and uh, use it accordingly. Okay. So I have removed that. And uh, this one is for the SSL version of the domain. So you can see the domain and all. It's exactly the same. So you can see the root folder. So this is the directory. And here on the SSL certificate file, you can see we are specifying the folder and the folder that we created through the terminal and then the certificate. And we are also specifying the key here. So if you want to see from where these files are. You can come inside the SAMP installation, go to Apache and open the CRT folder that we have added. And inside that you can see our domain name. And inside that we can see these two files. So these are the files that we are specifying there. So this is the path that we are going to specify. Okay. So specify the folder name. That is the folder that we added. And then the domain. That's it. So specify this according to your directory. So this should be same if you are following along with this video. So you can give that accordingly and then you have to save this one. Save this one and we can minimize this file. Now we can restart the SAM here. So stop this one and start it again. Now if you enter this domain here and hit enter, you can see that we are taken to the SAM uh, default page. So that's because we haven't added the HTTPS before this one. Since we have removed the HTTP version, so you can give HTTPS colon slash slash and we can remove this dashboard from here and you can hit enter. Now you can see the index is working properly and you can see the domain is working properly and it is working with the SSL. So if you want both the versions to work, you can add both. So right now we removed the non HTTPS version and added only the HTTP version, HTTPS version. So hope you understand that. So that's it. This is how you can add a domain and uh, add a SSL to your localhost domain. So this is just for fun purpose. You can add it while development. So you can see this with the SSL and all. It will be useful while developing. So hope you understand this video. Now if you go to this folder and uh, simply create an index file. Let's create an index file here. So index.html and we can simply edit this one with a notepad. And you can type something here so that let's type hello world and save this file. Now, if you try to refresh that page, you can see hello world. We can refresh this one and you can see hello world here. See, so hope you understand this one. So it's a very simple video. And if you have any doubt, you can leave a comment below and I will be responding to them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more such videos.